So you might know about directories. You've probably seen a lot online about directories recently. It's something that I got into. I showed people how to make directories. I've got several ways to make directories. So just as an example here on the school, I have this SOP to create a directory using data for SEO information. So I'll give you an example here. I'm currently making an Irish brewery directory. All I did was just go on Google, type in Irish brewery directory. I just found this Wikipedia list right here. And then you can literally just use this using Klein and Gemini. So if I just go to Visual Studio Code here, like like I said, if you don't know what you're doing with any of this stuff, definitely check out the school guys where I'm just laying down everything. I'll just quickly show you the MCPs. I'm going to be using Fetch and Brave Search, nothing else. These are both completely free to use. And then I'm just going to hit enter here. So you can see it does a Brave Search for nine white deer brewery. It finds pages and then it looks at those pages and it tries to find all of the information about that website and then it will fill in the CSV. Okay, so you can see this huge amount of information here, right? So let's just copy this. In terms of usage, I think because we're making a directory and we're trying to advertise these people's businesses. It's not such a big issue that we're just going to be using links from their website. This is not legal advice. I don't actually know if people will have a problem with this, but I'm just guessing that people are not going to have a huge problem with this, basically. But you can just see how much more information this has than general directories. So we've got brewery name, town, county, founded, website, no associated pub, features. So it's got a really nice list of features here that you wouldn't get from standard scraping methods whatsoever.